Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Here we are in BeamNG and we got a new update with a brand new vehicle. Now I happen to love this vehicle. It reminds me of the mod, the Gavril Durham. And if you know me at all, you know that I love cars, I love vehicles, and this may be one of my favorite ones that has been released in BeamNG for a long time. So this is only two of the examples. We're gonna end the video off with a flood challenge test. But before that, we're gonna take a closer look at some of the parts of this truck. Now keep in mind, update comes with much more than this. I'm not gonna go into the detail. There's other YouTubers who went into detail of all the things. We get a map editor, we get some changes and updates to, I think the West Coast map. We get some mods on a new car, on an older car, stuff like that. But this video is just supposed to be taking a look at this fantastic looking truck. Absolutely stunning models. Now one thing to keep in mind is that I'm a huge fan of the mod that we all know, which is the Durham. The Gavril Durham is sort of what this new vehicle was based on, funny enough. and. While this Durham has so many different configurations, it's absolutely incredible. And it has kind of two generations. You get like kind of the 1990s or 80s version, and then you get the new one, which is the modern 2000s version. So quite similar to this, the new vehicle, the MD series is pretty similar. Now, the description is that it kind of bridges the gap between a pickup truck and a heavy duty kind of semi truck like this. And that's kind of what it does in real life too. The GMC Top Kick is actually quite similar. Now, I personally happen to have driven the Top Kick when I was on a mine site, so I can lend you some kind of inside information on what it's like to drive one of these things in real life. But you could see here, we get the old style version, the 1986 to 1992 version, and then we have the 92 to 98. So we have kind of two variants, two generations almost, and there are some absolutely beautiful models here. Got the regular crab crew cab, fifth wheel, so you could use it as a semi truck, pick up logging and everything in between. You get kind of crazy ones too with this like torn down version with NOS. You get this one that can <laughs> traffic removal service, uh, a city ambulance, and then like an off-road ambulance. This Overland version is super cool. I can't wait to test it in the desert. So you see that this is a highly um, detailed model. Now, just looking around, you can see that it has some really unique features and just the continuous detail that we've come to expect in BeamNG. You could see it reflected here. Now this is the older version, this is kind of the newer one, but the framework is the same, the chassis is the same, it really comes down to the cab being different. You can really see here the interior, very work truck like, but at the same time it still looks kind of like a pickup truck and that's exactly like the vehicle in real life. And here you have, with the engine, roaring. Now you gotta release the hood from the inside, as we know. And then you can hop onto the outside and take a look in there. Now this is the old version, or the 80s one. Hopping on over to the new one, you can see the interior, while similar, like this one is kind of more bare bones, this one has this shift lever here and you could tell that they really had a retrofit of the exterior more than the interior on this truck if we go ahead and start it up now this engine let's see it's only got the i6 diesel interesting enough maybe that's only this version but it does have a turbocharger and then here we still have the same one Okay, this unit is manual for all kinds of towing and things. 
keep in mind that this frame does not have the ability to connect the truck trailer, but there is one that does. Now it just has so much torque, you can see how much it shakes that when you give it gas. And it, because it's a because it's a diesel, it has such a low um, threshold for RPMs. It's only going up to like two and a half thousand RPMs in this version. So stunning model. I'm not gonna take it and just destroy it everywhere, but we're gonna test it a little bit to see the kind of deformation. So cool. This game is just the stunning simulator of this type of thing. Let's actually try something a little more fun here. Let's go on and take the overland. Now it's also manual, so we'll have to keep that in mind as I drive it. Now we're in rear wheel drive. Throw it into the four wheel drive. Now I can't wait to take this thing out of the desert. Really, this is not the right scene for a truck like this. But my is it fun. And look how cool it looks. Like, it is just an absolute beast. I love, love what they've done with this thing. This is probably my favorite vehicle in the game. Just from the little testing that I'm doing here. So here we are trying to escape the flood. You can see that this thing is not very fast. I don't think this may be a very exciting video for most. Oh. Oh my. Definitely underpowered for trying to escape this flood. Alright, we're gonna have to try another version of this truck. Now we're not in four wheel drive. Hopefully we can siphon a little more power now. Definitely takes some getting used to as far as the cornering goes. And you'll definitely need to keep shifting as you do it, but with stuff like this you can plow right through any obstacles. Okay. Like right here. We just do something like that. Get out of the way. Now if I throw on four wheel drive, will it not help us at all? I mean I'm getting I've gotten up to like a hundred kilometers an hour here. Assuming I don't do that. This thing is actually a beast and it's quite good for stuff like this. I would say if you're trying to escape the flood, you gotta use this version. I feel like the other ones may be too kind of commercial and slow. Whereas this one. Just don't expect to break very well. But you could probably push people right out of the way. Let's try pushing him. Oof. Alright, alright. Head on collision. No! No. I do want to take this thing on kind of a punishment test. Okay, definitely want to remain upright. Try it again here. Okay, cornering. 
is not the strong suit of this vehicle. Passing slow moving traffic and smashing it seems to be. Loosened up the tie rods in the front there a little bit. This is what I want to see the money. Perfect. Handled that very well. So there you have it. A test of the new Gavril MD. A beautiful truck, a beautiful model, a lot of fun. Obviously, if you want handling and braking and all kinds of stuff, you don't get a massive, massive truck. But that said, I love it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Stay tuned for more Stormrix content. Stay tuned for more Stormrix creations. And as always, see you next time.